Hello everyone and welcome back to the 10th episode of Technological Journey. So uh, last episode, um, we did okay. ignore a bunch of these, um, that was very off camera. Um, but last episode, we got Polytetra Floor Ethylene, we got the large chemical reactor, we got some basic EV machines, some neodymium, stuff like that basically. And yeah, we also set up our uh, drilling stuff from uh, Phobos, so we have chlorine and fluorine here. And we also have uh, a, a fluid drilling plant in the nether, which is drilling us lava. But yeah, we are running off chlorine, so I might want to upgrade the FTP in the Phobos first. We need a large supply of chlorine, I think. How much do we have? Yeah, we're basically out of chlorine, so I think I'm gonna go upgrade the one from Phobos first. Alright, so um, I have set up three more turbo diesel generators and a EV uh, energy input hatch over here. So we're getting much more chlorine at a much faster rate. So yeah, uh, it's drilling us uh, 750 millibuckets per second which is better than the HP one before. So we should have a larger supply of chlorine. All right, let's go into the void road. So last episode, we left off over here. We went to the end and get some tongue state. So uh, between episodes, um, I've done the tungsten line and uh, this is the whole line. I think I will do like this stuff off camera. I do not want to build it on camera. Maybe, maybe I want to do it, but Probably not in the TJ series, and it's pretty tedious. It's LCR spamming and configuring um, under IO, but I enjoy making chemical lines. So I'm gonna just give you guys a brief tour on uh, what are these stuff and the uh, EBFs over there. All right, so let's ignore the one over here, which is the Shilite processing. This is I, I built this actually a few days later after. I built the tungsten line. I will just uh, focus on uh, this, the first one first. So basically, with the interface here, this is pushing tungstate and sodium hydroxide into this mixer here. I have a, I think a, a conveyor module here, so it's auto inputting stuff from the interface. But yeah, after this mixing, it will give us. Okay, I forgot all the recipes. Give me a sec. Oh yep, this should give us sodium tungstate which is a fluid, and it should also give us this lithium hydroxide dust. Alright, so we get our sodium tungsten here, it will be transferred into this one over here instead of this. I'll explain this later. But in order to make calcium tungsten over here, we would need to mix calcium chloride dust, water, and sodium tungsten. So sodium tungsten we got over there, and the calcium chloride is a self-loop, so I'll explain over here. So after getting calcium tungsten, we are gonna react this with some water. I have uh, the water recipes, I have some covers on it. So it's basically supplying infinite water and this will give us tungstic acid dust and calcium hydroxide. So this is where the loop comes. So the calcium hydroxide reacts with HCl, which gives us calcium chloride, which we then reacts with the, uh, the sodium tungstate. And this is basically a self loop over here. So I have some, this is basically calcium chloride and this is, do, this is doing a self loop by itself. Chemical lines are hard to explain. All right, after getting our tungstic acid, we would chemical dehydrate this into tungsten trioxide dust over here in our chemical dehydrator. And the last step is to react this with some hydrogen to give us tungsten and water. I basically just put some trash bin here to avoid the water. And I have an interface here to give the tungstate back into our AE system. So now let's uh, talk about the process up here. So if you remember in the end, we got uh, she lights too, which needs to be transformed into tungst uh, sodium tungstate, which is the liquid down here, and then some extra process, which is with uh, hydrogen peroxide. This is actually a pretty pain to make, as we would need amphorycine, but ethylene, okay, whatever this is, and we need some oxygen too in a chemical reactor. So it is basically oh, this one here, which should be producing us uh, this whatever this thing is over here this is uh reacting with hydrogen so this is basically a self loop so this reacts with hydrogen to get the hydro hydrogen thing over here and this reacts with these two this is not consumed and oxygen 
which give us this and the hydrogen pyroxide so this is basically a self loop giving us hydrogen pyroxide um the original process of getting this is really pain i took like an hour or two to get this so like this is phallic anhydrate alpha benzene which is this and that this is more stuff chemical dehydrating and this potassium or through exiling and toluene and methylene there's just a bunch of stuff here that i do not want to talk about but if you guys are playing tj and wonder how you want to get this at least i did it like this so i just um this is just reacting otar in a distillery which i just did it from the power lines oven here and the dust is from doing this one which is potassium dichromate of silene and oxygen and as this re requires napoline and i do not have a distillation tower for now i have a lot of explanation in this process but this is basically how it works so we insert shilite and tungstate and it gives us tungsten the thing we would need tungsten for is one tungsten tungsten carbide dust over here and also tungsten steel so tungsten steel is the one we need priority for but this is also useful for later on but yeah a tungsten steel plate is used for nano circuits as you guys can see over here so i have two ebs over here so this one is currently uh, not not currently but this is cooking up the tungsten dust which we get over there into tungsten ingots and this one which will react with steel ingots over here oh this should not be filling up with steel yep this is reacting with steel to give us tungsten steel i mean that's pretty obvious 53 second recipe both of these are ev hatches oh by the way i am using these p2p tunnels gteu p2p tunnels for now as all of these are too so i'm gonna just show you how it's set up in the overall this is probably not the most most brightest setup ever like just two rows one and a half rows of turbo diesel generators uh which goes into three inputs of gteu over here and also i have made a ev mass reactor and an ev chemical reactor this is actually making the, uh, the, 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 the whatever this thing is i made these in one single chemical reactor and let me just say i used at least 10 drums or more um but yeah this is what i did between episodes yeah let's talk about our goal in this episode a, a lot of rambling so the first goal i definitely want to do is the flatline uh before you think this is uh the beginning flatline the advanced flatline i think we will make in either the iv or luv but this is basic flatline this would only produce palladium and platinum which would be used for the ev superconductor based dust and platinum rods for the emitter for the advanced recycling machine free for nano uh the nano what's that called yeah the nano smds and iv circuits so yep this also takes extreme circuit boards which comes from fiber reinforced circuit boards which comes from fiber reinforced epoxy resin sheets which comes from borosilicate glass fiber just a bunch of processing lines here so the goal of this episode i'm not sure if this is too possible but i want to get the nano mainframe and our first luv circuits over here and yeah this takes tungsten steel frame too so yeah we would need a batch of those tungsten steel and i also want to get this off camera so this is a larger handy bag compared to what we have this all right so i think i would start building the plat line for now but yeah i will explain the line later after finishing finishing it but yeah i'll see you guys when i finish the plat line all right so after a while i have set up a basic plat line over here okay so to be fair this is not a basic plat line this is just a little part of the plat line um, but the whole plat line is we insert palladium enriched uh what's that called yeah platinum metallic powder dust and palladium metallic powder dust into the chemical reactors and it would output us some platinum dust and palladium dust so platinum there's two ways to get it we can either get it from the platinum metallic ore by processing i think purified nickel and therefore we have a bunch of platinum already i have 13 and a block more i mean it's technically not a lot but um it's actually a endless loop for example we would need ammonium 
fluoride to react to get i think re precipitated platinum dust but since this whole line is not finished like later in the line we'll get the ammonia back but yeah it's not giving us ammonia for now which is which kind of sucks but yeah, as I said, the next goal is to get Palladium, but unfortunately, the only way to get Palladium, I think, is from Titan or Mars. Oh yeah, we can definitely go to Mars, but that takes Californium, but which is nuclear, which we are a bit... We, we, we will do nu nuclear soon, but not now. But um, yeah, I think we're, we are going to Mercury over here which has pure platinum metallic and palladium metallic and also NAC, NACWADA, oh the NAC line, I'm very ready for that but um, let me just get some deuterium from the moon and we will launch our spaceship oh yeah we also need to build the rocket of course, forgot about that but yeah I'll see you guys when I, I'm in the space station right I have mined up some dilithium from the moon and we get the lithium dust and we autoclave this to get the lithium so let me just find the autoclave <laughs> over here i think anyways if we slash home we go back to the space station and um i think we drop the lithium in the input hatch we put our our artifact block over here right so we go to uh wait mercury right mercury select how this works right i bet i think if we press warp we go to mercury i believe so this is just gonna take a while but we would be in uh we would be in mercury very soon and i'll see you guys when we get to mercury all right and it seems like we are warped in mars the whole thing is red over here and it says um we are on mercury over here right so i have built the rocket over here and i have set the space station the guiding computer to mercury so if we press space we should be launching to mercury very soon let's see how it goes Right, so this place is very dark even at day, as you guys can see, but if we check our full spectre over here, we should have palladium and platinum. And this looks like it's pretty dense too, so that's very cool. So I'm gonna just set home mercury, and I'm gonna just grab some uh, drilling fluid, and I'm just going to mine up some uh, palladium and platinum. Right, seems like we have mined up a bunch of the palladium attack dust. So over here in the crate, look at all these palladium and platinum. I'ma just go go back home and I'ma just process all these. <laughs> look at all of these platinum in the chest over here. Oh, that is going to be a bit of pain to take to the A system, I'd say. Right so um it's been a while again i said this like a hundred times already but i have built the plot line over here and there's some more singular machines under here um i wouldn't say this is a hard um a hard uh line to make so it's over here so you, as you guys can see in our inventory we have palladium ingots and platinum ingots so basically how this works is um I, I i think we would need the import bus on the machine soon i'll do that later but yeah later but yeah basically we insert these palladium metallic powder dust and platinum metallic dust in there and it would help us to get the ingot back which is very cool oh no i, don't, I have no idea why this is jammed um let me check Right, I think we need, I just need to add a few more drive food drive in here. And yep, it's currently being processed, I think. Yep, look at all these guys doing their stuff. 
so we should get some platinum ingots and palladium ingots very soon they're being consumed as you guys can see um but yeah we'll get the platinum and palladium ingots soon and this is a salt net so we have a quartz fiber here connecting a uh a emmy storage bus connecting to a emmy interface i have no idea how this works at all but yeah i just went with it so um normally like what i would do right now is i i would really want to make a uh, hawk high octane gasoline that means we need to do oil processing that means distillation tower and stuff like that but since I'm recording and I said at the start of the episode, we would want to get some nano circuits over here. Um, not necessarily the nano computer maybe, because the 6 EV, superconductor wires and those stuff. And we can even make LUVs, which is very cool. But I think uh, we our target is to make the nano assembly this episode, which is some nano CPUs, which is blah blah blah. We have a bunch of stuff to do still, but yeah, I think we should start uh, making some nano circuits. Oh yeah, I forgot that we need to explain the plotline. Um, I'm not sure if I should I explain the plotline or not. Like this is uh, chemical lines at this point is getting really complicated, but yeah. So uh, yep, I think we insert some platinum metallic particle dust over here, which reacts with aqua regia. This gives up gives us platinum concentrate over here. So yep, you guys can see the recipe here. This also gives tiny power of platinum residue dust, which I store in here. I think this would be useful for iridium and stuff like that. But yeah, after this, we will mix with ammonium chloride. This will, this will give a bunch of byproducts here, including palladium enriched ammonia, which will be used in palladium later and ammonium chloride we get from mixing uh ammonia and hydrochloric acid which we are both looping i won't explain the loop it's just basically looping in the single block machines down there and we get the precipitated platinum dust over here and we react with calcium which is also in a loop and this gives us platinum dust and this is this can be directly smelted which is cool and the palladium rich ammonia be reactive with the palladium metallic powder dust which is the input of palladium these two react will give us this small power of palladium salt dust and tiny power of precip precipitated palladium dust uh, by the way these small power of palladium and platinum salt dust i'm currently crafting these and these can be resif resifted into these uh the metallic powder dust which is very cool and after this we would cr have a crafter down there if you guys remember this crafts into the dust form reacting with formic acid this would give palladium dust and this actually gives ammonia and acetic acid these are you know the looping i was saying earlier the ammonia and yeah we re i think i electrolyze this for more looping this gives these and i just loop and yeah this gives palladium dust and i have an evf over here set up for palladium and oh yep we're running off energy Anyways, um, that is basically how the platinum line works. So, yep, I guess that's that. Platinum line. If you guys are playing DJ, you guys can figure that out. There's a bunch of stuff here. It's not really not that complicated, but yeah, chemical lines is chemical lines. All right, so let's see. The first thing we want to make is obviously the. I think this is the MV one, right? Oh, this is the HV one. So this is the EV one, I guess. Yep, this is the EV one. So in order to make this, we need, um, let me just remove all these real quick. Okay, in order to make a nanoprocessor, we will need nano CPU, uh, the SMDs. We need a fine aluminum wire and extreme circuit board. And this takes obviously a EV circuit assembler. So we have to craft this later with six IV circuits. And if you guys remember last episode, I was origin originally going to craft a micro mainframe, but this takes, um, that's numb over here in the micro SMDs. So there's that, I guess. So I'm gonna craft this later. But yeah, let's focus on all of these stuff. Alright, so let's talk about the nano CPU. So this takes a nano CPU wafer, which is wall raw carbon fibers, CPU wafer, and energized glowstone. Yeah, uh, we get this raw carbon fiber from autoclaving carbon dust in platinum or palladium. Palladium seems giving a higher chance output but platinum we have more abundance of and it's 
easier to make and there's also cerium but that's nuclear stuff i think so i'm gonna just make a autoclave for automating this process and with a level emitter i think all right so i've set up this basic thing uh so i've extracted here extracting platinum ingots into platinum and this is currently giving us some raw carbon fiber here so this is a basic automation can i stop supplying this please i don't want to waste all my platinum but yeah so i have a pattern here which is requesting uh carbon when we want to make some raw carbon fiber know there's a better way to do this but i i think i'm gonna do that later maybe on the next episode instead of this one but yeah there's a raw carbon fibers all right so um after a while i have set up over this area i have set up some few automations so this one is the old machine we have automating raw carbon fiber and this one is for automating um let me check yeah fiber reinforced epoxy sheets i think oh no this is uh this is the uh, fiber reinforced epoxy sheet this takes um the raw carbon fiber with some epoxy resin that we made before this gives us the fiber reinforced epoxy resin sheet and i believe this makes the nano cpu wafer which takes energized glowstone raw carbon fiber and a cpu wafer I mean, I can do this in an LCR and I should do this in an LCR, but I'm lazy, so whatever. But yeah, this is a e pretty easy setup. I basically have a pair here and I added four more glowstone dust. And all the items will go into here and there's some filters here. So the glowstone will go into here, get full extracted, and it will go into the chemical reactor. It's a pretty simple process, but I took it took me a while to understand, but yeah. I have also set up two more LCR over here. This one is sort of circuit board for the sulfuric acid. So I have set up these two old ones. I put I removed them from the old one. And I added the fiber reinforced circuit board. And this one is the uh, sodium persulfate. So it has this extreme circuit board. And I'm currently crafting some of these. So yep, we scheduled 19. Oh, we're crafting a new copper. Right, I think that fixed the issue. This was not getting oxygen style, but it's getting right now. So the circuit board should be getting crafted right now. Yep, we have 14 already in our inventory. And we get four more of these. Pretty useless, but I mean, I'll take it. So um, let's see. The next thing is to make the advanced circuit assembly machine, which, yep, of course, this takes IV circuits uh, since this is a EV one so we need our mainframe from the hvh here which we need the micro smd we didn't have before uh, but now since we have some platinum wire we can just encode some recipe yep uh i have encoded all the recipes and we should be able to grab our first iv circuit right now right the two circuits is crafted over here and we have our first micro mainframe and oh very loud yep we completed the hp chapter let's go all right so next we're gonna make the advanced circuit oh my god i cannot pronounce uh the advanced circuit assembly machine yep which takes ev so ev motor more stuff oh, i think we made this before but yeah uh the me emitter I mean the EV emitter takes uh wait this is EV circuits too and platinum rods well that is that is what I call expensive but yep I'm gonna just craft this real quick so all right first let's request some platinum rods I think it wants us to make four at least the quest book wants us to make four if there's our four platinum rods and next we would make the emitter which takes two IV circuits very expensive but uh, let's request one ev emitter oh not a thousand <laughs> the emitter is crafted i just want to claim the quest uh because if we made the circuit assembly machine like straight up it won't like the quest even though i can edit it but like i'm lazy so um anyways we can craft our circuit assembler i think and yep we have every material and this is a long list of materials <laughs> all right it is finished crafted and we have our ev circuit assembly machine here so now i think we can make our nano processor and i want to set up this and our our void road over here 
place a interface on top b2b channel with the respective channel wait i don't i don't know if that's what we're on but <laughs> um and i would name this as the ev for kids assembler and let's see which uh material we are missing i know we're missing the smds but I'm gonna just check. Yep, we're missing SMDs, aluminum wire, and nano CPUs. And I'm gonna just do a bit of recipe encoding. All right, so after a while of doing a lot of encoding, uh, including Serium. Uh, I'll explain some of these, but we can basically craft some nano processors right now. Uh, this has a lot of stuff, like the SMDs have like a lot of unique recipes, so I'm gonna just say it. So the Serium is a new one, which we get from Dust. We can do this in two ways. This uh, I'm doing this temporarily. I'm electrolyzing fast tonight for now for Serium. But later on, I think we would do Serum Oxide, which comes from LAND Oxide, which comes with Rare Earth. And we can mix the Rare Earth. Yeah, it's over here uh, in the quest book. Oh, yep, it also takes Magnalium, which is. Uh, this is the easy one. This is basically aluminum and magnesium uh, alloy smelter. And also the graphite over here. Uh, we get this from the Diamond Ore Guy product. So yeah, there is a few new recipes, but it's not that complicated. Yep, and those uh, should be our first nano processors. Cool. And the next one is to make the nano assembly, which is just tungsten steel plate. I think is the new recipe. So I'm gonna just encode the tungsten steel recipe. So it should be the metal bender. Here, yep, we are able to craft this, and this is a pretty cheap recipe. Yeah, we have our nano from last time. So boom, 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 this should be done. And I'll also get another tungsten steel plate for the quest. Our first EV nano circuit, Ooh. and let's get our tungsten steel plate too. So, just for the quest, this gives up some platinum and palladium, pretty useless, I'd say, but it's very have it then not have it and let's craft i think the ivy nano computer too so this requires uh, the ev superconductor wire which uh, the base ingot is platinum and uranium dust in a mixer lv1 which is pretty convenient oh and a slight error so in order to get this to the base wire this takes a blast furnace and this actually takes tungsten steel which we I mean, we can do it right now, actually. Um, but we never had a tungsten steel EBF, so I think it's time to make our first tungsten steel coils over here. It's just some tungsten steel wire, mica insulator foil, and icon. So that should be pretty easy. Right, so I have crafted up 16 tungsten steel coal blocks and um actually off camera I have already crafted um the IV circuit. So if you guys see the quest book I should have these done. But uh, this takes um uh, the dial it takes the casium which is the stuff over here I think. I'm not sure but yeah. If we check our M system we have our IV circuits over here. Which is pretty cool so um i'm gonna just uh, briefly explain the process as i said we melt this into the ingot and we wire mill the ingot and then i just have a, another recipe encoded here which is that has a similar nitrogen tiny tungsten steel pipe and the wire racing i have this auto uh, on autocraft 
So I think it's this machine. But yeah, I set up these two machines for SMD automation. This is soldering alloy, and this is for the SMDs. I mean, that is for a circuit. So I guess the interface. There's the IV stuff there. But yeah, that's how we made the circuits. The recipe is normal, just this EV wire and the nano assembly is just pencil steel plate. So I'm gonna spoil over there what we're doing next episode and this too. But yeah, I think this is a good wrapping up point on the video. Um this like I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pretty short video, even though this is like the longest I've ever been on the TJ world. Uh, for example, the Flatline Tungsten line took me a long time. And uh, the stuff down here, auto configuration. And we actually did like a lot of the EV chapter stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry, my videos are really bad. Um, but if you're still here watching, I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.